Hello, welcome to Stay Hungry, I'm Fergus and on today's episode I'm going to be giving you our three key areas where you can be getting more value from the customer data that you already have. Let's take a look. So, number one, it's the, probably the most obvious one that we've got going here at the moment, but retargeting. Uh, we all know that having repeat loyal customers has been the backbone of many businesses over the years, but are you really applying that to your business now online and in your marketing? So yes, you've got an e-commerce business maybe, um, you've got a checkout, people, you've got a good amount of customers coming through the whole uh, experience and they're making purchases, brilliant. What's your follow-up once they've made a purchase? How are you adding them to your marketing, um, giving them offers, um, making sure that you're staying in front of them, asking for reviews, all this kind of stuff that's gonna kind of make them loyal, make them want to come back for their second purchase, what's gonna make them wanna come back for the third purchase further down the road, and how are you building that audience of loyal customers who aren't going to go elsewhere, who actually like interacting with your brand. There's loads of tools we have uh, to do this. Easy ones are making sure you're ma using your mailing list properly and you've got the different le levels, the different audiences in there. Make sure you're using Facebook retargeting. Make sure you're using Google Analytics and Google retargeting as well. That's the best way you can get the most out of those customers. Equally in the same regard, you make sure you're targeting people who have got abandoned carts, uh, people who have looked at items but haven't made a purchase. Uh, if you're not an e-commerce business, people have been to your website, you can still retarget these people. Um, and it's important that you're building up these audiences and seeing that you're being given all this data, so it's time to start breaking them apart and building the audiences that matter to you. Number two, let's look, a look, let's look at look-alike audiences. That's a mouthful. Right, this might be one of the most powerful tools inside Facebook's um, arsenal. Uh, it's an AI-based machine learning tool that basically gives you a ridiculous amount of power if you have some data. So what, what does lookalike do? Essentially, let's say you've got a, the most simple option we've got, you've got a Facebook page and you're trying to get people to more, you're trying to get more people who are like the people who like your Facebook page. Just tell your lookalike audience to this is the group of people that I want to, I want, I want another group of these people. I want, I want to basically, these are my core audience, I just need more people like that. And Facebook goes, okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna look at these people and then I'm gonna get you another group of completely different people and we, we think these people are likely to like your page. You can do this with people who have made purchases on your website. Now that is powerful. So you can say, I've got this group of a thousand people, They've, these people have all made purchases on my website, here you go Facebook, and Facebook's like, cool, these people are likely to do that too. That is something that you should be looking at using. So, like I said, there's loads of different ways you can do it. You can feed in emails, you can feed in Facebook pages, you can feed in website traffic. All of this stuff is unbelievably useful. You can feed in people who have made clicks on your ads, that's a very good one. So, looking at lookalike audiences is your next step in that regard. Right, finally, number three, we're gonna look at Google Analytics and all the data that we're being given that we're ignoring for some reason. So we've got a few tools set up. If our website's set up correctly, we've got it linked to Google Analytics. If we're running Facebook ads and we've got, food, uh, we've got Facebook ad breakdowns, and we're just getting all this really useful information. And this can help us tailor our ad copy, the images that we're using, where we're targeting, who we're targeting, and why. So this is something you definitely need to be looking at once you've had ads running for a little bit of time. So, what can Google Analytics tell you? Google Analytics can tell you how, how people are coming into your website, where they're coming from, if that's social, if that's organic, if that's paid search, wherever they've come from. It tells you where they've come from. It tells you if they bounce immediately, on which pages bounce. So maybe you've got an issue on, a, on, a, on one of your pages that um, is making people come here and they're like really excited and then get put off maybe by a loading speed or maybe there's something on the page or it's broken so that can help you identify that it can tell you where in the world people are coming from uh, which can help you decide where you're spending your money um, going back to the Facebook side of things it can tell you if they're male or female how old they are where in the world they come from just pretty much anything <laughs> that you need it can even go down as granular as telling you what kind of device they're um, accessing it on if it was desktop or a mobile even the make Apple or um, Android um, which I mean it could be relevant to you but it's good to look at and get a feel for what is important something that feeds into um, how we build ads 
the majority of clicks um, on social media come from mobile devices, so maybe you should be thinking about um, writing copy that, that makes sense for a mobile device, because obviously the constraints are a little bit different. So there you have it, those are our top three ways to get more from the data that you already have. If you'd like to talk to us about how you can really make the most of that data and how you can just absolutely skyrocket your, um, your advertising, your, your copywriting, your marketing, your website, give us a call, book a discovery call, um, we'd love to have a chat with you. Have a great week, thanks.